There we go. Now, get to the main computer terminal and enter the security sequence. Mainframe, as soon as Scarlet enters... G.I. Joe, always so gullible. I wish I could have gotten the rest of you here, but sci-fi interrupted my plans. <clears throat> no bother, though. We put together another trap to spring on them. <laughs> Attention, G.I. Joe! Your puny resistance is over! There are no more places to hide! They'll never win. Even with G.I. Joe down for the count, the people of this world won't bow to Cobra. Oh, but they will! Cobra first seized control of the world's power and technology. Now, we will seize control of its population! This bell dates back to the Kofun period of ancient Japan. It is said to have been crafted from a fallen star that landed in the region centuries before. The metal, when molded in this form, resonates at a frequency unlike anything on this planet. One simple tap of the material. While this device only has a range of a few feet, Anyone who hears this frequency temporarily has all semblance of free will negated from their mind. Or permanently, if they are continually exposed to the sound. That is, unless they have the proper protection. Once this property was discovered in ancient Japan, a group of rogue nobles built a mold for a larger, more powerful version. But alas, the metal in my hand was all that existed on this planet. Well, until recently. General, please join your friends and await further instructions. The Arusha Kage knew the type of power that could be wielded if the planned device was ever completed. They attempted to hide the mold parts away over the centuries and across the globe. But they could not hide them from Cobra. Better go back to your hive holes if you know what's good for you. Won't have you, buddy. Just a quick nap. He's getting away! Oh, he fooled! He could have ended everything!